Welcome to WTDC 17 here in Buenos Aires in Argentina, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Ursula Owusu Ekufull, who is the Minister of Communications for Ghana. Minister, thank you very much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about the, the theme of this year's conference is ICTs for SDGs. What has been the overall impact of ICTs in your country's socio-economic development? It's been immense, and uh, let me say good afternoon to your viewers as well. It's been immense at every step of the way, as I indicated in my statement, from health to education to procurement to e-commerce to digital financial services to, you name it, um, the way we live and work, re reducing corruption and uh, waste in our systems, improving efficiencies in the public sector. We have used ICTs and uh, scaling up our application of technology in all sectors of the economy to drive growth, job creation, entrepreneurship, women's empowerment, you name it. And it's there. It has a cross-cut in nature. And I say it's indispensable, an indispensable tool for development in, in all its forms. And so like um, an onion, which is used in all sources and stews, you'll find ICTs everywhere if we want to improve our efficiencies and for us it's helped us in so many ways that we like leaving your mobile phone at home you feel like you've dismembered your limb that's the way in which um, it's affected the quality of our lives there and we're looking forward to even greater application of ICTs in all sectors of our economy and to see it help us to really um, blossom and grow and get to where we want to, to get. We want Ghana to be the hub, the IT hub for the West African sub-region. We want to take the leadership in our infrastructure, driving down the cost of data to enable young people to explore more its possibilities. And so that's how we're positioning ourselves. And what would you say are the major obstacles or challenges that uh, you might face in using ICTs for sustainable development? The human resource capabilities in our country. we really having to deal with um, improving the capacities of our people to use these new tools, which are, some may find foreign to their way of doing things. And the high cost of the internet is also a major disincentive. We also have to think about rural penetration more for the unserved and underserved areas. There's a clamor for IT services around the country and supply is lagging far behind demand. So we're having to scale up our universal access um, uh, capabilities also immensely as we go along. But these are all issues that we're working on. And um, we think that once we can deal with these uh, few issues, we'll be well on our way. Now, Ghana is uh, very much cooperating with ITU. ITU is, is very much a, a, a partner with Ghana in a lot of things. I just wanted to find out from you, how has Ghana benefited from cooperation, close cooperation with ITU? Oh, I don't think we would have gotten where we are without our keen collaboration and cooperation with it with the ITU. They've helped us develop our ICT for accelerated development policy. They've helped build up the capacity of our regulators in spectrum management in fixing of tele um, interconnect fees. They've helped us with cybersecurity training, development of our cybersecurity policy and strategy and the construction of our sets, the computer emergency response center that we have. They, uh, in every aspect of our lives, we've picked up valuable lessons in terms of universal access from here, from interactions with our various colleagues here and implemented it back home. And we're, we're learning even more every day and hoping to deepen our cooperation in here. Uh, we chair various study groups um, in um, quality of service and quality of experience signaling protocols, satellite services, and um, we're also vying for ICT study group two, ITD, uh, ITUD study group two on cybersecurity, emergency telecommunications, and climate change adaptations. We, we value our membership of the council 
we've derived enormous benefits from it. And we would hope to deepen our own contribution to the debate and, and what we also get from it. Because um, I, I quoted the Secretary General in my, my presentation, we're stronger really together. And uh, we make each other better. And we can build an interconnected uh, uh, world um, which would only inure to the benefit of all our peoples. And finally, I wanted to ask you, what concrete actions do you hope will come from WTDC 17? Hmm. More capacity building, you know, um, and to develop um, a strategy for the early realization of the sustainable development goals. Our president is a co-chair of the SDG advocacy group, and he really wants to share experiences and see how we can work together to develop um, the, the, the uh, continent that we all want to see. We want greater international collaboration on cybersecurity. We can't go it alone. Um, one part of the world sneezes, the, catches a cold, the rest of us sneeze in terms of, of, of cybersecurity. So we really do want greater collaboration in that area. And I think it is key as we're scaling up our um, efforts in, 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 the use of, in, in the usage of technology at all sectors. We also need to improve or scale up our efforts in terms of protecting safe uh, our navigation of cyberspace and, and child online protection as well is something that we're taking very, very seriously. And so we see, we're hoping that at the end of this, this, this development conference um, will be developing the strategies that will enable us to deal with many of these issues going forward in terms of interoperability of networks and systems as well and to the mechanisms which support conformance to those are some of the things that we'd like to see from this conference and as always if there's um, opportunities for mutual assistance in terms of even uh, greater um, infrastructure sharing mechanisms that we can learn from. We would also like that, because we think that by doing so, we might be able to reduce the cost of accessing IT services for our people. Ursula Wusokufu, Minister of Communications, Ghana, thank you very much indeed. It is a great pleasure to be with you. Thank you too.